Hi, welcome to Video Games Revisited. Today we're going to be playing Centipede on the Atari 2600. Now this is another home port of an incredibly popular Atari arcade game and it stays pretty close to the original. It's a vertical shooter where the basic premise is you just have to shoot at the centipede which is constantly moving down the screen towards you. Now the story is you're an elf who comes across a magic wand and discovers he can use it to fight various wildlife but to be completely honest on the Atari 2600 version you'd never ever guess it. The graphics are probably the biggest letdown in this game. For example in the arcade version your character at the bottom it looks like a little head just to identify him as an elf and in this it's just a square and again all of the mushrooms from the arcade version that kind of litter the field in front of you just rectangles and really can't be identified as a mushroom. But it is a port for a home console rather than a full arcade cabinet so it's not a complaint, it's just worth mentioning. But the sound is pretty much spot on and it's a good representation of the sounds present in the arcade version. Now what I really love about Centipede is the speed of the gameplay. Despite the fact this is a pretty old game, the tempo is really up there. I mean the speed the bullets travel up the screen, meaning you can fire again, it's, it's pretty intense for the time and really gives you a nice satisfying shooter experience. Now when you first take a look at the game, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was just going to be a fairly standard top-down vertical shooter. But there are lots of other bits and pieces at, at play that stop this from just becoming a run-of-the-mill shooter game. For example, rather than the main enemy, the centipede, taking lots of shots to kill, each shot splits the centipede, turning the body part that you've shot into a mushroom, which then acts as an obstacle, and then the two parts of the centipede will carry on independently, working their way down the screen and bouncing off of the mushrooms. Now this mixes up the gameplay as you're going to have to concentrate your fire on two different enemies instead of just the one. And the mushrooms I've mentioned both obscure your shots from hitting the centipede as it travels and also depending on their position can actually make the centipede get to you even quicker as it bounces off and moves down a row. Now else you could counteract this by simply just shooting all of the mushrooms out the way. If you reduce the amount of mushrooms too much the game counteracts this by throwing in a flea enemy that will attack you forcing you to weigh up whether it's actually worth clearing a particular patch of mushrooms. Now to stop you getting too relaxed when the centipede's miles away from you at the top of the screen, there's a pretty much constantly regenerating spider that'll appear and hop about at the bottom, making you keep an eye on that and keeping you on your toes, along with a scorpion that sporadically appears, turning mushrooms into poison mushrooms, and if the centipede touches these mushrooms or eats them, then it'll make a beeline directly for you. If and when the centipede makes it to the bottom of the screen, you're not doomed like in games like Space Invaders. In fact, you can move your elf upwards and avoid the shots and and the centipede will carry on bouncing backwards and forwards below you, but also growing to encourage you to finish it off quickly. All of these ports combined really do make for a fantastic game, as they kind of interact and counteract different strategies, really do keep you on your toes and make it a genuinely exciting game to play. I must admit I was very sceptical when I first started playing it, but the more I play and analyse this game the more I like it, and it's great to have a game that could have been so plain and mediocre have all of these elements combined into a really sophisticated experience, especially on hardware that could be considered so primitive by modern standards. So that's about it for now, I'm going to carry on playing Centipede, and if like me you've ever been put off playing this game, give it a go um, and I hope it takes you by surprise the very same way it did me as it's really been a great and fun game to review. But that's it for now, take care and I'll see you next time.